Hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. And as of today, Halloween 2022 version 2022.0 of Game Maker is out. And the reason that this is special and the reason that I'm calling attention to it in a video, somewhat of a uh, like news reporting style uh, versus all the other stable releases is that this is the long-term stable version of Game Maker. This is a basically a special version of Game Maker that was announced in uh, earlier this year, back in, I think, April. And for those out of the loop, uh, this differs in that where ordinarily we'd be getting monthly or approximately monthly anyway releases of the engine. For example, 2022.6 for uh, the June version of Game Maker, 2022.9 um, is the recent one for September. The long-term stable release of Game Maker is going to be a version that does not see updates for a prolonged period of time. And while that might be a bummer for a lot of people who want to see the, the cool new features that get added to Game Maker, a category of people which I would count myself among, if you are well into the development of a game and you're nearing the finish line and the last thing that you want to do is update Game Maker and find that something suddenly works differently than the way that you are used to it working, or worse, that a, uh, a bug has been introduced, then the long-term support slash long-term stable, it seems like they can't decide which one they want that to stand for because I've seen both. Anyway, this is the version of the engine that you would want to use if you wanted to prioritize stability. Anyway, that's not to say that the long-term, um, I guess I'll call it long-term stable version of Game Maker will be getting no updates, uh, especially if it comes to something like a bug that needs to be fixed on console where games have to um, meet certain criteria before they can be published. Uh, that's the sort of thing that is likely to be fixed, but it won't be the regular monthly updates that the regular version of Game Maker has uh, where features are sometimes added or uh, sometimes broken for better or for worse. Now, uh, if you want to download this, go to the uh, Game Maker LTS release notes up here. Unfortunately, and this is the first place that I looked for these, in the, uh, the account settings in your Game Maker login, uh, there doesn't seem to be a download for the LTS version there yet. I wish there was. Uh, that feels like the first place that people would go for this sort of thing. But go to the uh, release notes page and then you can download the uh, Mac or Windows version from the top over here. Um, there's not a lot of changes listed from the 2022.9 version, except for a few uh, IDE bug fixes. Um, I have heard informally that there are other uh, fixes that made it into the LTS that um, just did not get listed in the change notes, and that's honestly one of the places where I wish Game Maker would get it together in terms of, like, communicating. Because in the last year or so, they've been shooting themselves in the foot a lot in this regards. And then, of course, there is this whole forum thread uh, where you can... Uh, post issues or questions or whatever uh, with regards to the new update. So this is um, going to be less of a tutorial and more of, as I said, like a news um, update video for those who have not seen this and for those who this may be relevant to. I skipped the process of showing myself installing the LTS version of Game Maker because aside from the different, like, aside from the fact that it creates a separate, uh, separate installation of Game Maker, uh, it's really the same as installing any other version of Game Maker. Uh, we do have the setup wizard at the top, which shows the first time that you use Game Maker on a particular computer, which I think is a little bit silly because I think most people who would use the LTS version already like have seen this many times. But I can open up a project. Um, I guess I'll just go and use um, use Wizard Ducks as an example here, and this should work out of the box. And if it doesn't, that's going to be really embarrassing for yo-yo games because this is the sort of thing where you should not have any weird conversion issues on the first time you open a project, um, as is sometimes the case in the stables and uh, more especially the beta versions of the engine. So... Alright, this will take a while. It's actually not a big project, believe it or not. There's not, like, a ton of stuff in it. Aside from a chatterbox. Anyway, that has opened, and I should be able to run this, at least on Windows on VM, without having to do anything else. And I uh, had to close the project that was open in a, a different version of Game Maker before I could run this one, because Game Maker didn't like that. But as you can see, we have loaded into the game. As I said, it's not a huge project. Um, hopefully, there won't be any, like, nasty bugs hiding. I was a little bit nervous, given Game Maker's track record for releasing stable stuff in the last, um, again, year or so, that uh, there might be some unforeseen issues uh, loading up a, uh, a project in LTS for the first time. But it seems that everything is in working order. That is definitely a, uh, a bit of a good sign. Um, 
Let's see, I think I can, uh, I can close this. I have played this intro more times than I can count, and it's gotten to the point where I kind of don't want to see it anymore. So this will have its own separate installation. Uh, as I said, uh, if you go into, for example, preferences, uh, the preferences that you will find in, a, um, in the Game Maker LTS version will be independent of the preferences that you find in, for example, 2022.9 or, um, or one of the betas. And uh, for example, if you have Feather turned off in the, in the betas because it crashes a lot, um, you can have uh, Feather turned on in the LTS version and it should be relatively stable. At least that's the idea. Uh, now that I've said that, let me go and just give this a little poke and see what see what Feather actually has to say. It has, I believe that's 30,000 suggestions for me, uh, which seems a little bit extreme. And there's a few cases where it thinks like, uh, it, it thinks things like, yeah. What is that, line 93? All right, that's a scribble thing. I think this, uh, I think this uh, documentation comment can actually be updated so that that will not be a problem. Will Feather find that acceptable? Doesn't seem to have helped. Anyway, so uh, getting back to uh, 2022.0, I believe the plan is for uh, one of these stable, long-term stables to come out every year. Uh, some people have reported that they have been unable to actually log into the IDE in the, uh, in the LTS version because good old wonderful DRM. I don't think at the current moment it's known why that is. Uh, hopefully they will fix that soon. And even more hopefully they will fix that like by the time I have time to edit this video and post it. Um, that seems to be something that's happening on their server backend and not, on, um, not in the IDE. Uh, as, you, as you were able to see, I was able to log in without issue. I think only time will tell if the long-term stable version of GameMaker lives up to its name in terms of stability. Um, if you do find a bug, uh, please go through all the usual bug reporting channels. Sometimes people post their bug reports in my YouTube comments and like, I cannot emphasize enough that I do not have the ability to fix bugs in GameMaker. If there's something wrong, you need to either post it in this thread or in the like bug reporting section of the website. Anyway, I hope that this is useful. I'm curious. I've just been sort of like refreshing this page every few minutes to see if anybody has, has said anything interesting. I do see that a few people are reporting the bugs that they have reported in the past are not fixed in LTS, which is another one of those things that I'd really like Yo-Yo Games to be better at because it's really like not helping them in terms of um, you know, causing less drama in the community. I think things are slowly on the mend from over the summer, uh, when everything was sort of on fire all the time, but still, uh, you would hope that a simple bug in something like one of the collision functions would be fixed in LTS, but again, time will tell. If there's one specific thing that I did wish made it into the LTS version, it is actually the 32-bit um, export support. Uh, while I generally am a fan of not building 32-bit software in 2022, and I did make that video over the summer in which I celebrated the demise of 32-bit Game Maker export. There is a strong argument to be made for uh, people who potentially had old existing projects that used old 32-bit extensions, and it would have been nice if they at least were able to make it to a like LTS version of Game Maker uh, before having support for that dropped. But alas, uh, this is the world as we live in it now. So, uh, if you're one of the people who have a use for a long-term stable version of Game Maker, then I guess happy Halloween. I hope that this uh, lives up to your expectations. I am probably going to continue living on the edge because I do like to screw around with new and interesting and shiny features uh, whenever they get added, obviously. But I think that's it for me now. I hope you all found this useful. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial, one let's make a game, uh, and occasionally one of whatever this counts as being. I have a Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. And I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Harold Gidry, Kiexi, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, The Oz, and Zenzerman for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.